Hey there, it is Phoenix Amore. So my opportunity to explain to people what it was that uh, Walk Infinite was about. Now you heard a little bit at the end of the song, I'm like, yeah, that's what the song is about. But let me explain in, in video. When I was having these conversations with my uncle and really talking about it, the reason I mentioned that whole Greek thing is because as we were talking about the witchcraft and how people are into the whole Illuminati thing, that whole Greek stuff, um, this is where I got to break down to him face to face. I'm like, no, I said, when you think about it, I said, because God used what you know. I said, when he was speaking to me, spiritual gifts like Athena, I knew it wasn't one of those things where like, you are channeling Athena. This is why I liked to put up the whole thing with my birth charts. And I'm like, no, now look at my birth chart. Okay. When you understand why I mentioned all that stuff about the Zoroastrians and all that stuff, who found baby Jesus Zoroastrians? All the things, the three wise men following the star. The I set all you guys up to understand this at a deeper level if you really wanted to. Now, it's unfortunate because when some people feel like they're being excluded from that growth or however you want to say it, uh, that's why I call them vampires because then they want to come in and say, well, so-and-so has more knowledge about that. No, so-and-so is a fraud. And then so-and-so gets mad because I called him or her a fraud and that we got to have all this months and months and months of marketing to prove they're not frauds and here we are still in the same place yeah they still old because they were frauds on some level it is what it is that's not a versus that's pure discernment so understand something when i drew the name phoenix the way that i did i'm understanding god is like there's a message that when you get in this booth you're going to have to deliver it now some people reading it would be like oh she said she gonna see what's real rare that means guess what she gonna have some kind of attack diss track no what did i do instead i said you tried to dwarf me what am I speaking of? I'm speaking of when all these people, when they didn't want to understand it at that deeper level, and they thought this was some marketing employee, right? Even when they thought that whole Pluto thing, right? Oh, she's Pluto. We're going to make sure it stays the door. All that stuff, even with the buffalo thing. All that witchy thinking. Remember, I was like, these fools don't get it. So all the stuff that they pulled didn't matter. So then all of a sudden, they try to make you feel like you're supposedly crazy because they followed their little false messiah false prophet whatever whoever miss whatever they want to call themselves who cares point is when the facts come out and people like no the numbers are such that's not even just numbers obamacare that's numbers jay-z album and all that kind of stuff when people start seeing they really sit here and put the spin on everything while the rest of us just have to take take the l and that's where that growth is you have to embrace it and I know it's, you know, and that's the thing about growing. You have to embrace that L. If you think about the symbolism of Jesus taking the lash, and that's why I said took, him, took my lashes and rose back up with Christ, Christ's passion. That wasn't no Jay-Z. That wasn't no Beyonce. I don't need your motivation. If you think you really gave me the fire that God gave me, you just cocky as I thought you were. And I'm saying you, I'm talking about anybody else. When I bring up the birth chart, that's why I just have the passion for that astrology. When I finally had that click with God, like, thank you. I'm so glad you showed me personally what it was I needed to learn. And it didn't matter who was supposed to be saying, do you know what spirits are being? Boo, I do. Trust me, the ones that get caught up in that stuff, they get lost fast and they stay lost. Often don't know how to find their way home to certain things. For me, understanding the deity, that's why I talked about Trinity gotten into me. I ain't moved from that since, trust me. And so the whole thing about it is, pulling all this stuff in again when I talk about stop not breathing as long as I did the man with the lightning at the when I put in my lyrics right and I'm saying God speaks through me all these things where God is having to say some stuff gonna have to pop out because these still when I call it that Alice in Wonderland thing right these still these things full off with the head if somebody got something to say bad about off with the head okay whatever whole point is the message is still the message. And see, that's that whole thing where you have to have that strength. For real, when you're a real prophet or a prophetess, that strength in God's word because the Bible going to tell you, you're going to be ridiculed. You want people coming for you. You better get ready if you're going to work for me. That's really how God has prepped those truly walking infinite. And that's why I named the song what I did. So again, when I said too busy trying to dwarf me, you the fools fell in your own black hole. That is basically speaking about all the endorsements, all the whatever, the internet that provides 15,000 articles, 15, all about these same people just saturating you. They flooded people so it breaks through like real floods. Like you flooding people, you saturating people with your presence, your need for relevance is going to be your biggest downfall. So now people have a disdain. It's just like eating the same food over and over again where you find like, I never want to eat that again in my life. I'm so tired of seeing that. Rather than these people understand how that works and letting that variety come in, they're going to keep saying, this is what you're going to eat. You're going to eat that and you're going to like it every single 
day. So they basically put you into prison. I'm not trying to be funny. These are the parables that just come to me as I start speaking. Prison, right? You got these same damn food, right? Same kind of food, bland all the time. So these same, some of these same artists, when they're pumping you, trying to make you like them, that's like putting you in prison. Eat my food, eat my food, you're going to like it. So now you have people like, uh, I'm not in prison. I don't have to buy that. Guess what? I don't have to eat your food. That's what's basically happened. So moving right along to explain to people the purpose of my blog, I'm embracing the skills that God has given me very um, thoroughly. That's why I said prepped thoroughly, spiritual adept. I was there when Jesus wept. So all these things when I'm talking about, right, these are not just cool sounding uh, raps. OK, and that's what I broke down to people before. And I'm like, listen, and that's why I said no hype needed. Now, that's not even a oh, I'm making this big surprise entry. That's like, I don't need your hype. I don't need your fame. These are the skills God gave me. You didn't hype me up to all of a sudden have this fire. You didn't give me ish. God gave me every single gift I have. If you so cocky, you think you brought it out of me. You full of ish because it was already there. It was me saying that veil broke. Now people get it. So when I drew that name, that wasn't a, oh, all of a sudden I'm gifted at drawing. No, this is not one of those blogs where I'm like anything you put your mind to, you can do. That's not what I was speaking of. That really was God saying, it's time for you to deliver this message and then move around because it's going to be some people in a little bit of shock. What kind of stuff, you know, breaks through. So thank you to the more intelligent folks who were like, oh my gosh, when she was saying she took some hits and I showed you guys my sides, right? It finally clicked to the pilots. So we're like, crap, that's really like how a plane looks when lightning's been boom, 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 boom. So when I talk about spiritual warfare and I say, I'm not fighting for so-and-so anymore. Them, them dark angels took that sucker and I didn't care. Trust me, that's how that really is. And so when I say what happens in the spiritual breaks through, that's real talk. So all these people who are now trying to sell themselves, like, I really wasn't like that. When you think about how some people at church, when they talk about uh, Judgment Day and all that, that's really how that goes to them same people. They think they can write articles and everything they did just gone. And they can just rebrand. You can't rebrand yourself when I'm talking about some real spiritual playing stuff. You, it does not work. So the beautiful thing, if you see the difference in my song, who am I thinking? God, God gave me this. Not no Jay-Z, not no KD, not no whoever. Guess what? God. So guess what? I still put the praise in the right place. For anybody who lost where you got your um, gifts from, I don't know what to tell you. But I trust me when I say, you're going to see what's real, real. Guess who I gave the praise to in that song? I was a small spark. God gave me this light. None of them suckers ain't give me anything. That was already here. That was already here. And that was already in my spirit. You guys take care.